And welcome back, rugby fans, to Rugby 411. As always, I'm your host. My name is Joshua Shibata, and we are previewing the 2023 PR7s Championship that's going to be happening this Sunday, August 6th, live at the Audi Field Stadium in Washington, D.C. Uh, if you know me, I am a huge Rugby 7s fan, and PR7s has been an amazing showcase for the USA American born PR American born rugby sevens players as well as a showcase for a lot of amazing international players uh, so giving new fans of rugby sevens a chance to see homegrown talent as well to see some really amazing international superstars make their visit over here to the United States this season has been exciting it is the biggest season of PR sevens uh, more teams than ever uh, bigger events uh, and fighting for the championship not only for the men's not only for the women's but the unified championship as well we'll go over all of that talk about uh, all the teams that made it to Washington DC and previewing um, exactly how they got there as well so uh, just bringing up the brackets right here as you see on the men's side, it's the Texas team taking on the Steel Chose in the uh, semifinal round, while on the other side of the bracket, the Rocky Mountain experts take on your reigning defending PR7 champions from last year, the Loggerheads from SoCal. Uh, while on the women's side, it's going to be the locals, the New York locals taking on the reigning defending women's championship champions, the Southern Headliners. And then on the other side, you have the 2021 women's champions, the Loonies, taking on the Rocky Mountain Experts. The Experts are the only franchise that has both women's and men's team represented here in the uh, championship semifinals. So let's uh, look over both brackets. We'll start with the men's. Uh, on the men's side, you have the teams and the Steel Toes. Now, how they got here, the Texas team, they won uh, the first Western co competition in Austin, while the Steel Toes, which is the new franchise that was just added this year, uh, came in third. Uh, and when they played in the Western Conference Championship event that took place in uh, Pittsburgh, which was the hometown of the Steel Toes, they actually faced off against each other in the preliminary round, and the Pittsburgh Steel Toes defeated the Texas team, 33-5, to and in the end, the Steel Toes end up winning the championship there in Pittsburgh to the delight of the home field, while shockingly, like I mentioned before, the Texas team won the first competition in Austin. They actually came in last, but fortunately, because they won that first competition, they were able to make their way to D.C. for this championship showdown between the team and the Steel Toes. On the other side, you have the Rocky Mountain Experts and the SoCal Loggerheads, as I mentioned before, the SoCal Loggerheads are your reigning defending 2022 PR champions. This match is actually a rematch of the 2021, the very first year PR7s had their championship between the Experts and the Loggerheads. The Experts won that one. So this is going to be an interesting little rematch. Now, through during the season, the Experts ended up winning the very first event for uh, the Western Conference where they won it in... Um, Minnesota. Experts defeated the Loggerheads in the preliminary match. Uh, Experts went on to win the championship while the Loggerheads actually came in fourth. Then, in the conference championship match in San Francisco at Petco Stadium, uh, these two faced off against each other again. This time, the Loggerheads barely squeaked out the win, 15-12, to to end up winning the competition in San Francisco. So both these teams, because the experts won the competition in Minnesota, Loggerheads won it in San Francisco, they both make it over to DC and they'll face against each other again. Uh, they're one and one this season. We'll see who takes home the third match. And then between those two teams, the winner takes on the winners of the team and the Steel Toes. Going on to the women's side, the first match is a tasty one. It's the locals taking on the reigning defending uh, champions, the headliners. Uh, now, this is actually a, a rematch of two final championships 
Uh, both these teams, the locals and the headliners, made it to the finals in both of the Eastern Conference events. Uh, the first one in Austin, the second one in Pittsburgh. Uh, both of those were won by the headliners, 21-12 20, to 12, and then 12-7. to 7. So the locals are kind of uh, bit, biting at the bit to try to beat the headliners. This will be the third time they face off against each other. Will the locals be able to defeat the headliners? Um, when you look at the lineup of the headliners, it's going to be very tough. On the other side, you have the Loonies, who are actually the 2021 Women's Champions, taking on the Rocky Mountain Express. Uh, both of these two teams face off against each other twice throughout the season. First, they face off against each other in Minnesota. Uh, they face off against each other in the preliminary round. The Loonies squeak by the experts 12 to 10. The Loonies end up winning the event in Minnesota. The experts actually came in fourth. And then in San Francisco, they face off against each other in the championship uh, match. The experts actually beat the Loonies 14 to 10. So again, just like on the men's side, because the Loonies won the Minnesota event, the experts won the San Francisco event, they both make it. 2DC. They're one and one apiece. We'll see who ends up winning that one. Um, and again, it's going to be interesting because if you go through the history of the women's side, Loonies and the headliners face off against each other twice. Loonies won in 2021. Headliners are your reigning defending champions in 2022. If the headliners get past the locals, the Loonies get past the experts, you might see them face off against each other for the third time in a row. Uh, looking over the teams, a little bit of who's to who and who you should watch out for. On the Texas team for the men's, Chris Ulrich and Rhodes Featherstone. Rhodes Featherstone, phenomenal young New Zealander talent. One of the many international players I talked about that are showcasing their talents here in the U.S. He is huge. He is strong. He's fast. Definitely a guy to watch out for. For the new franchise, the Pittsburgh Steel Toes, uh, you look no further than Hightower, David Hightower, who is a USA uh, Eagles 7 player, as well as Ethan Hagar, who is their scrum half, who has just been phenomenal for them. Uh, ben Pinkelman, former USA Eagles 7 player, as well as the team captain of the Pittsburgh Steel Toes, unfortunately got hurt uh, during the week between uh, the games, and so he is not able to play. But they just made an announcement that Utah Warriors player Lance Williams has signed with the Steel Toes. He will be in place of Ben Pinkelman. That's a great pickup for the Steel Toes. On the expert side for the men, uh, look no further than Madison Hughes, former captain of the USA Eagles Sevens team, and then Corey Jones, a phenomenal athlete. He plays in a lot of Sevens competitions. Uh, he is going to be a key player for the experts. The loggerheads, Tucker Tricky. Not only does he have the coolest name, he has the coolest mullet haircut. Phenomenal player. And then another uh, phenomenal international player, South African player, Blanco Dupriest. Uh, phenomenal player for the loggerheads. On the women's side, the headliners. Ah, there's a reason why these girls are the uh, reigning defending champions. Their lineup includes some phenomenal players, Nia Tapper, Abby Gasteis, Elena Olsen. All three of them played for the USA Women's Eagles team. Um, but the locals do have another phenomenal national player, Stacey Waka, who has been just a joy to watch on the USA pitch. Uh, going over to the other side, the Loonies, another phenomenal USA Eagles player, Ella Kilter, who can do everything literally on the pitch. She can kick, she can pass, she can throw, she can run, she can score tries. She is amazing. She is going to be the driving force for the Loonies. While on the experts, you have two phenomenal players in Summer Harris Jones and Amanda Berta. Now, as I mentioned before, not only will these four teams be playing for women's and men's championship, there's also a unified championship, which will accumulate all the points won over by both teams, because every franchise has a men's and a women's team, to crown, to crown the very unique in any sport in uh, the world of a men's and women's co-unified championship. Last year, the headliners were able to win that. Considering there's only a women's headliners team here uh, in the championship uh, rounds, they have a slight chance of winning it. We'll see if the headliners can uh, pick up the women's championship to possibly boost up their score. Right now, they're tied with the Ra Rocky Mountain Experts at 44 apiece. The Rocky Mountain Experts, though, have both the men and women's teams still in contention. So they could easily walk away with the Unified Championship. Right behind them are the Loonies at 32 points, the Locals at 28, Steel Toes at 27, Loggerheads at 26, Team, the Texas team at 21, and unfortunately the Golden State Retrievers, who don't have any men or women's team in the championship, are sitting at the bottom at 19. Uh, but they made a valiant effort for their very first year in the league. 
So again, guys, you can watch this, and I highly recommend it. If you've never watched Simmons Rugby before, it is a fun, fun version of rugby. I always tell people it is a faster, quicker, more high-scoring uh, event of rugby. So for some people, it's a lot more fun to watch. Uh, less people on the field, same size field. Like I said, a lot of scoring. It is a lot of fun. You can watch this live two ways. First of all, it kicks off Sunday, August 6th. Audi Field, Washington, D.C. I believe tickets are still on sale, so you can go check that out. Kickoff is going to be 12.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It'll start on the YouTube channel, on the PR7's YouTube channel, and then it switches over for the last two championship games, 3 p.m. Fox Sports 1. So if you don't want to watch it on YouTube, you just want to watch the championship matches, 3 p.m. Fox Sports 1. See who's going to walk away with the men's, the women's, and the unified championship. It's going to be a lot of fun. So again, hope you like this video. Let me know your comments who you think is going to win. And uh, I'll see you, as always, on the pitch.